हे गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड गाइस टुडे आई हैव स्टार्टेड न्यू सीरीज व्हिच इज लिनक्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू यू नो रिकॉर्ड वीडियोस ऑन लिनक्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ओनली एंड माय इंटेंशन इज लाइक वंस आई एम डन विद ऑल द वीडियोस यू शुड बी कैपेबल टू वर्क एज अ लिनक्स सिस्टम एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर सो गाइस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब चैनल एंड follow me one by one all the videos and i'm sure you will be able to work as a uh, as a linux administrator administrator so guys in this video this is a very first one and we are going to learn five things here okay so first of all introduction to linux operating system then linux distribution then architecture of linux advantages of linux and disadvantages of linux so guys if you go step by step one by one you will achieve whatever you want to achieve okay so that is the concept of my okay my my channel basically and this series also so first of all you should understand what you are going to learn and what it is actually so it helps you to shape your uh career you can decide but, uh, whether you you want you need to go to linux or you need to go to windows so it helps you to decide where you want to go okay and career selection as well so guys in this we are going to first of all learn about introduction to linux operating system okay because if you are working as a linux administrator then you will be dealing linux operating system only okay so let me tell you first thing here so i have taken each and everything step by step so guys i request you if you are reading if you are watching this video please take a notebook and pen pen and paper to make up your personal note whatever you are understanding whatever you are learning from here okay for example i have taken like you know uh, eight points here but it is not like you know it is there is no guarantee you can remember all the eight points whatever i have mentioned here but you can note down at least you can you can take something from here like four lines or five lines so that will be your real learning and that is called the way to learn now first of all i will tell you okay introduction it is introduction of linux so i will take one highlighter here so guys go step by step and very slowly so linux is a community of open source unix like operating system that are based on linux kernel okay so it is openly available very simple and uh, the the basic concept of this is linux kernel so in the same video i will tell you about what is kernel what does it mean okay and uh, it was initially re, uh, released by linus torvalds on september 1791 so this is the worth of this operating system uh, like september 17 1991 it is a free and open source operating system and the source code can be modified and distributed to anyone commercially or non commercially so guys if you are comparing this with windows operating system so that coding is not open okay and you cannot modify it but here you can modify it as per your requirement even you can sell it commercially or non commercially lots of companies are doing the same thing they are uh, you know uh, making changes in the code of in the coding of this operating system and selling it and they are earning but in windows operating system it is not possible so this is a very big advantage of using uh, linux operating system and in my previous video also i spoke about it uh, in a couple of videos like what is the difference between linux administrator windows administrator uh, like that and uh, next thing here initially linux was created for personal computer okay and gradually it was used in other ma machines like servers i mean frame computers and super computers etc i hope these four points will you uh, four points will give you clear information about it what is linux actually so it is a free it was uh, you know it was released on september 17 1991 and it is uh, free you can modify it next nowadays 
Linux is also used in embedded system like routers, automation controllers, televisions, digital video recorders, video game consoles and smart watches etc. So these are the platform where Linux is in use. And the biggest success of Linux is Android operating system. It is based on the Linux kernel that is running on smartphones and tablets. And due to Android, Linux has the largest installed base of all general purposes operating systems. Linux is generally packaged in a Linux distribution. So guys here, I have concluded all the eight points of introduction about Linux operating system and I'm sure you can understand at least four or five out of these eight so my time whatever I have spent is got the value of it now I, I will talk about distribution okay Linux distribution so what it is actually Linux distribution is an operating system very simple that is made up of a collection of software based on Linux kernel or you can say distribution contains the Linux kernel and supporting libraries and softwares okay so it is a, it, you can say it is a storage from where you can like you know you, uh, you can uh, you can say distribution contains the kernel and Linux kernel and supporting libraries whatever is required it is available there so little bit more about it you can get Linux based operating system by downloading one of the Linux distributions and these distributions are available for different types of devices like embedded devices personal computers etc around 600 plus Linux distributions are available and some of them some of the popular Linux distributions are here let me tell you the very first one is MX Linux and Manjaro, Linux Mint, this is very popular, uh, elementary, Ubuntu, Ubuntu is also very, very, very popular and Debian, Solus, Fedora, Open SU, SE, Dpain. Okay, so these are the, you know, versions you can say Linux operating system versions available and the distribution of Linux. I will I will be installing couple of operating system in coming up videos like uh, I will be showing you Ubuntu and Fedora as well. So for that you need to wait for my uh, for my coming up videos. And now we'll move to the next one, that is architecture of Linux. So guys here, Linux architecture has the following component. Okay, so you see if you see this image here, this graphic you can see one is utility. Okay, these are layer like I'm just for example, I'm telling this is layer one, this is layer two, this is layer three and this is layer four. Okay, and everything has separate function in this operating system. So we will learn all those things here. So these are application is a component, cell is component, kernel is important. I mean, uh, it, it is component very important. As I told you at initial stage only uh, like, you know, uh, operating system that are based on Linux kernel okay so it is totally based on Linux kernel very important one and let me tell you a uh, hardware here okay so now if we talk about if we try to understand what is kernel here so okay kernel is the core of the Linux based operating system it is the core it virtualize the common hardware resources of the computer to provide each process with its virtual resources very simple it once again I will I will tell you it it virtualize the common hardware for example this is a hardware it will virtualize it it virtualize the common hardware resources whatever resources is available here of the computer to provide each process for example here five process are running or three process so it will divide this resource equally to all the process virtually okay this makes the process seem as if it is the sole process running on the machine the kernel is also responsible for preventing and mitigating conflicts between different process 
different type of the kernel are monolithic kernel hybrid kernel exo kernels and micro kernels so guys uh, this is the kernel and i told you process 1 process 2 process 3 so whatever resources for example it has 4 gb ram so it will distribute uh, according to the process and virtually this 4 gb will be distributed to all the process now we'll move little further here we will uh, we understood what is kernel so it is it is a core it is core of the linux operating system and the function is virtualizing the common hardware resources of the computer to provide each process with its virtual resources now system library what does it mean so guys second one okay system library that is also part of it so it is the special type of function that are used to implement the functionality of the operating system this is also the uh, one more component and the next component is cell this is cell this one what it is actually so it is an interface to the kernel which hides the complexity of the kernel's functions from the users it takes com uh, commands from the user and execute the kernel's function so it is a you can say you know backbone of this kernel and uh, i mean it plays very important role between uh, you know I, i should say like whatever i am doing that kernel has to function so that will be communicator mediator between system and uh, kernel kernel's function basically and hardware layer so this layer consist all physical devices like ram hard disk cpu and all so let me take you back one more time this is kernel this is cell and this is hardware okay now the next one is system utility it provides the functionality of an operating system to to the user so this comes in the end this utility or applications for example let me show you i have installed one ubuntu okay and uh, i will install one more time it i will show you so this is what i was talking about here like if if you want to see these things whatever i am doing here that is called system utilities okay if i am doing if i am using anything it provides the functionalities of an operating system to the users so i can use any applications which is available like if i want to go to you know internet i can use this uh, firefox so it is happening only because of this now we'll move to the advantages of linux so guys it has lots of advantages okay so the main advantage of of linux is it is open source okay it is open source operating system you do not need to pay this means the source code is easily available for everyone and you are allowed to contribute modify and distribute the code to everyone without any permission so you can modify you can make changes even even you can sell it even you can share it if you want so you do not have to worry about anything like any permission you need to take something like that in term of security linux is more secure than any other operating system yes it is the the toughest to target to hack okay uh, it does not mean that linux is 100% secure it has some malware for it but is less vulnerable than any other operating system so it does not require any antivirus software yes we do not need any antivirus here okay but yes there is there is a possibility like you know as i said it is a open operating system so anybody can modify it anybody can make changes even they can manipulate it and they can insert uh, you know uh, they can insert viruses and all and uh, you know make it available on web or internet so if if anybody is downloading it they they can be uh, download i mean they can download that infected operating system so there is a possibility but it is very uh, less and uh, next thing the software updates in linux are easy and frequently very easy 
uh, and various Linux distributions are available so that you can use them according to your requirement or according to your taste or business and Linux is freely available to use on internet you can download it very easily and it has large community support and uh, it provides high stability it rarely slow downs or freeze and there is no need to reboot it after a short time it maintains the privacy of the user the performance of the Linux system is much higher than the other operating system yes it is definitely it allows a larger number of people to work at same time and it handles them efficiently it is network friendly the flexibility of Linux is high there is no need to install a complete Linux suit you are allowed to install only required components and uh, Linux is uh, compatible with large number of file formats I will show you this when I'm going to install in next video and it is fast and easy to install from the web it can also install on any hardware even on your old computer system it performs all tasks properly even if it has limited space on the hard disk so these are the advantages that makes it much much better than other operating system and now guys as we know like you know everything has two sides okay one is good second one is bad or you can say one is positive one is negative so if you have I mean it has lots of you know advantages so definitely there will be some disadvantages also so let me tell you about those advantages also so I have not mentioned much here this two so guys it is not very user friendly okay very simple so it may be confusing for beginners if you want to learn then yes you will have to do lots of uh, you know hard work and you will have to focus more to learn it if you, if you are learning it first time and it has a small peripheral hardware drivers as compared to windows windows has lots of drivers and all but it is limited these are the two disadvantages of this uh, linux operating system but apart from this it has lots of advantages uh, as i mentioned here 14 advantages so guys this is what uh, i thought to discuss in this introduction video and if you feel it is uh, like you know if you want to learn what you have to do is just like this video and uh, comment share and subscribe youtube channel hit this icon well on your youtube so that you can receive my notification of next video and uh, in next video i will show you you know manual disk partitioning for ubuntu i will install one ubuntu operating system and i will show you how to install it because uh, there we will have to make multiple you know partitions so if you are learning first time it you may not be comfortable the way we are uh, we can do it on windows operating system so i will show you about all those things because we need to mount uh, point these these things couple of couple of things here and uh, you can like if you are if you are doing uh, multiple parties and then you require to do all this kind of things but if you if you want to allow like you know full space to one drive there you do not need to do anything you can select uh, uh, i mean there will be uh, you will have two choice over that okay so in second i mean in one choice we need to configure like this if you want to do multiple partitions so that i'm going to cover in next video so i will meet you in next video till then bye bye